I recommend that you make your own models in Blender or download them from a website like Sketchfab. But for simplicity's sake, we will only use objects that are in the project. If you don't already have the workshop tools downloaded, watch the tutorial linked in the description on how to do it. Now let's get to the tutorial. First, drag the log barricade model located in the assets folder into the scene view. Then add the basic material found in the same folder. Now add a mesh collider component and a deployable object component. Then change the health of your buildable here. If your object is a platform you want the game to scan for cover positions, click this box. In our case, we will leave it off. Now drag your object into the project window to make it a prefab. Then move your object in front of the black square and switch to the game window to take a screenshot for the icon. I'm using the snipping tool, a default Windows app to take the picture. Then save it in the assets folder of the project. Now select your icon and set the texture type to Sprite 2D and UI, then click Apply. Now right-click in the project window and create a deployable SO object and name it. Then click on it and set the name and price of the object, and then drag the prefab you created into the object prefab slot. If the mod you are making is period-specific, set the year. If not, leave it at zero. Then drag the screenshot you took into the icon slot. Now in the bottom right, Create an asset label for it. Make sure to put some random numbers at the end, because if someone else's mod has the same name as yours, only one of them will work. Then set the asset label tag to workshop content, and in the top left click rising front tools, then build all asset bundles. Once it's done loading, you can find your completed mod file in the mod content folder. It may not show up in the project right away, so you can right-click and show in Explorer to see it faster. Your mod is the one that ends in .workshop content, not the one that ends in .workshop manifest. Now drag the mod's workshop content file into the streaming assets folder located in the local files of the Rising Front game. Congratulations, you just made your first Rising Front buildable mod. If you want to upload it to the workshop, Take the .workshop file and watch this tutorial on how to do it.